Welcome back guys, in this particular teaching video I'll be going through 1.2 algebraic fractions. 1.2 represents chapter 1, section 2 of the Pearson A level maths, pure maths year 2 textbook. Now before I go ahead with these beautiful examples, I need to go through some basic facts. So let's start off with multiplying slash dividing algebraic fractions. Number one, you need to cancel out any common factors. Number two, you're going to be multiplying the numerators and denominators respectively. Moving on to adding slash subtracting algebraic fractions. The key thing to look out for is finding a common denominator. So that there is the basic facts. So now I'm going to go through some examples on multiplying and dividing algebraic fractions. Simplify the following, part A and part B. Let's start off with part A. So over here, we are multiplying two fractions. We need to try and cancel out any common factors. Before we cancel out the common factors, we're going to try and factorise what can be factorised in these particular fractions. So, if I write out the first fraction, I've got x plus 3 over, I've got a quadratic in the denominator over here, which can be factorised into double brackets, and the factorisation will be x plus 5, x plus 5, multiplied by x squared plus 5x, that can be factorised into x in bracket x plus 5 over x squared plus 3x that can be factorized into x x plus 3 in brackets now i've got common factors i've got an x plus 3 here i've got an x plus 3 here so i can cancel out these two x plus 3s put a 1 there put a 1 there i've got an x plus 5 here i've got an x plus 5 here cancel out these x plus 5s Stick in a 1 here, stick in a 1 here. Um, I've got an x there and an x here, so I can cancel out these two x's, stick in 1, stick in 1. So, now, this particular fraction reduces to 1 over x plus 5 times 1 is just x plus 5. Multiplied by, 1 multiplied by 1 is just 1, over 1 multiplied by 1 is just 1. Okay, so now I can combine these two fractions. 1 times 1, so I'm just multiplying the numerators, it's just 1, over multiplying the denominators. This gives me x plus 5. So the final answer is just 1 over x plus 5. Moving on to part B. So over here, we are now dividing two fractions. So when you divide two fractions, you need to use the keep, change, flip method. So we're going to keep this fraction, we're going to change the division into its inverse operation, which is multiplication, and we're going to flip this particular fraction. So if I do that now, I've got 4x squared minus 25 over 4x minus 10. Keep that fraction. Division changes into multiplication, and this particular fraction gets flipped. The inverse of this fraction is just 8 over 2x plus 5. Right, so now I'm multiplying two fractions. I'm going to try and cancel out any common factors. But before I do this, I need to factorise what can be factorised in these fractions. So over here, this numerator is a difference of two squares. The factorisation will be 2x minus 5, 2x plus 5. In the denominator, 4x minus 10, if I factorise this, I get 2 in bracket. 2x minus 5 multiplied by the 8 stays as it is and we've got a 2x plus 5 which stays as it is. Okay, so now I've got common factors. I can start cancelling out common factors. The 2x plus 5s cancel. I can stick in 1 here and 1 there. The 2x minus 5s cancel. Stick in 1, stick in 1. Okay, so this first fraction gets reduced to 1 times 1 which is just 1 over 2 times 1 is 2 multiplied by I've got 8 over 1 so now we multiply the numerators and the denominators respectively 1 times 8 is going to be 8 over 2 times 1 is going to be 2 and we know that 8 divided by 2 is therefore 4 and that there is the final answer Okay, so these examples cover how to multiply and divide algebraic fractions. 
Moving on to adding and subtracting algebraic fractions. Simplify the following, part A and part B. Let's have a look at part A. So over here, we are adding two fractions. The key thing is to find a common denominator. Right, so the first fraction is 7 over x squared minus 4. That there's a difference of two squares, so we can factorise this into x plus 2, x minus 2. Plus the second fraction, which is 3 over x plus 2. Now, if we compare the denominators, we see that the x plus 2 is common. However, over here, we have an additional x minus 2. So, we need to multiply the second fraction top and bottom by x minus 2. Okay, so we end up with 7 over x plus 2, x minus 2, plus 3 in bracket x minus 2 over x plus 2, x minus 2. Now, you notice that we have a common denominator, so we can write this as a single fraction. I can write 7 plus 3 in bracket x minus 2 over x plus 2, x minus 2. So now we can go ahead and expand the bracket in the numerator. This gives us 3x minus 6 all over x plus 2, x minus 2. So 7 minus 6 is positive 1. Final answer is 3x plus 1 over x plus 2, x minus 2. This is the simplest form. You cannot cancel out further factors because if you look at the numerator and denominator, there are no common factors. So that is the final answer. Moving on to part B. So over here, we are subtracting two fractions. Again, the key thing is to find a common denominator. So let's start off with the first fraction. We have 6x plus 1 over, this quadratic can be factorised into double brackets. The factorisation will be x plus 5, x minus 3. Okay, take away the second fraction, which is 4 over x minus 3. So now if we compare the two fractions, in the denominator we see that the x minus 3 is common, but in this denominator we have an additional x plus 5. So we need to multiply this fraction top and bottom by x plus 5. Okay, so we end up with 6x plus 1 over x plus 5, x minus 3. Take away 4 multiplied by x plus 5 over x plus 5, x minus 3. So as you can see now, we have a common denominator. So we can combine the two fractions to give us 6x plus 1 minus 4 lots of x plus 5. All over x plus 5, x minus 3. So now what we're going to do is expand the bracket in the numerator. So we've got 6x plus 1 as it is. Then we have minus 4x minus 20 all over x plus 5, x minus 3. Okay, so let's simplify the numerator. 6x minus 4x is just 2x. And then we've got 1 take away 20, that's minus 19. All over x plus 5, x minus 3. Now that there's the simplest form. You can't cancel out um, further factors because there's no common factors in the numerator and denominator. That's the final answer. Okay, so that there completes the teaching video 1.2 algebraic fractions. If you found this video useful, please don't forget to subscribe.